Well, hello. God bless you. I pray that you're having a fantastic day. Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here. And as you can tell, I'm not in my office today. I'm in our multi-purpose room. We've just finished our morning sessions at this sixth annual of ministers and workers meeting of North Carolina third ecclesiastical jurisdiction where I've been privileged to serve as the prelate. We are having a time in the Lord. You know, the theme that God has given me this year, and this is the little program here. The theme is the requirement for triumph. Oh, I think it was Joshua and Caleb who said, if the Lord delight in us, he will give us the land. And we are talking about the things this week that the God of the Bible delights in. Because you know, my friends, we want the Lord to bless us and to keep us, but we want to make sure that uh, we are living in a manner where we are delighting him. I want to please God. And with all of the things that are going on in this world today, you see the things that are happening in the news, the political things, the moral things, the immoral things, the war in, uh, in Ukraine, between Ukraine and Russia, uh, and the war that's taking place in Ethiopia that the American media doesn't seem to be interested in at all. We see violence in our streets. We see crime in the streets. We have, there are DAs who have, can you, can you believe it? Who have literally stopped uh, prosecuting crime and criminals are in charge. Well, let me tell you, with all of these things that are going on, I want to tell you this. Do not be depressed. Do not give up. Do not throw in the towel. And by the way, uh, I know that there are some, some things going on in your life that wasn't covered by anything I just mentioned. But I want to say to you, the God of the Bible is in charge. He sees where you are. He knows where you are. He knows the situation. And I got, I got good news for you. He's working it out. Just give him time. Hang in there. Praise the Lord. Stay saved. Worship the Lord. Give him a praise and tell the Lord, God, I thank you that things are as good as they are. The truth is, as one preacher said last night, we're all in this thing together. And as, an, as another preacher said, what uh, is coming is greater than what has been. So you have so much to look forward to. Now, I want to invite you to watch tonight because we're going to have a tremendous service. The supervisor of our great jurisdiction, Mother Beverly DeJanay, will be ministering the word of the Lord tonight, and God is going to use her in a mighty way. And uh, we're excited. We want, you to, we want you to watch our members. We want you to come in, in great numbers, North Carolina 3rd. All roads lead to Raleigh, to the headquarters of our jurisdiction. And God's going to bless us real good. And on tomorrow night, yours truly will be delivering the word of the Lord. Now, God has given me something that's going to be a blessing to you. And it's going to reassure you. And it's going to redirect uh, 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 the lives of many of you who are watching because listen, the Lord wants you concentrating on the most precious things. And there are some things uh, that God has for you that uh, he is delighted to give you if you would just serve him and walk upright. So I want you to join me tonight. I normally give a drum roll and say for Bible study, but we won't be in Bible study. We're in our ministers and workers meeting, but the word of the Lord will go forth nonetheless. And as I said earlier, I want you to meet me uh, right here tomorrow night uh, at the conclusion of our ministers and workers meeting. It will be our official day, but there is a word from the Lord, my friends, that I want to share with you. And God is going to bless you real good. And for those who are in the area, join us tomorrow. Our day sessions tomorrow will be amazing. And we're excited about our, our 6 p.m service uh, this afternoon where I get a chance to speak to the elders council. Then we're going to have our service tonight. I mean, it's, it's been, it's been happening here at the upper room church of God in Christ. We cram a lot 
into three days. Our ministers and ministers and workers meeting, our convocations, they're only three day meetings. And uh, we, we take advantage of those three days and we, we limit it to three days because I want pastors to get back and get ready uh, to pastor their own churches, preach their, to their own congregations, to be ready to minister the word of the Lord with power and authority the following Sunday morning. So this is one of the ways that we try to be force multipliers by giving people time to get out, go home, and get ready. And God's going to use the pastors and the leaders at their local locations. I'm excited about what God's doing here, and I'm excited about what the Lord is doing for you. So join me tonight right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ for the Word of God. Mother Beverly DeJanae is going to preach, and you, my friends, are going to be blessed. Thank you for watching, and remember, join me tomorrow night. I have a word from the Lord, one that you don't want to miss. God bless you. Thanks for watching.